Well, now that you've mentioned it, teacher, I realise that our cars don't just jump off our hands at maximum speed. Yes, that's right. From this experience, you can actually draw a graph of this car's speed with respect to time. Here, let me show you. Is this a distance time graph? No, no. Look carefully at the y-axis. The label is speed and not distance. Ah, yes. Right, now, let's assume that your car has a top speed of 10 meters per second. So tell me, what do you observe in this graph? The car has a speed of zero from zero seconds to five seconds. I think it is at rest when I'm holding on to the car. And then at five seconds to ten seconds, I see there's a change. I mean, an increase in speed. Thus, I probably released my car at the five second mark. Then from ten seconds to fifteen seconds, the car is at maximum speed as its speed is not increasing anymore and it's travelling at constant speed. Is that correct? Good observation. So you can see, the speed time graph can show you whether an object is at rest, changing its speed, or in constant speed. When a graph shows an upward slope or a positive gradient, you can infer that the object is increasing in speed. Vice versa, when the graph shows a downward slope or a negative gradient, the object is decreasing its speed. Lastly, when the graph is a straight line, it means that its speed does not change. 